A vertical pole of length 6 meter casts a shadow of 4 meter long on the ground and at the same time a tower casts a shadow of 28 meter long. Find the height of the tower. Here we are given a pole. Its height is 6 meter and it casts a shadow of 4 meter. And uh, tower, its, uh, its height is not uh, given. We have to find it. And uh, it casts a shadow of 28 meter. We have to find the height of the tower. So, AB be the pole. Its uh, height is 6 min, uh, meter. We are given it. BC be the shadow of the pole AB. BC be the shadow of the pole AB that is 4 cm. PQ is the tower. Now we are also given that QR is the shadow of the tower PQ that is 28 meter. Now let us uh, replace uh, both uh, pole and tower by triangle. Let us replace this figure by triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Now in triangle ABC and PQR, we have angle ABC is equal to angle PQR that is 90 degree. Why? The object and shadows are perpendicular to each other. And uh, Angle A is equal to angle P, means angle BAC is equal to angle QPR. Why? Sunray falls on the pole and tower at the same angle at the same time. So, according to angle-angle criterion, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Why? Angle-angle criterion. So, now we have... AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR. Why? The ratio of any two corresponding sides in two equiangular triangles is always same. Now let us substitute the values of AB. What is the value of AB? Height of the pole. This is uh, 6 meter. PQ we have to find means height of the tower. BC is uh, 4 meter. This is uh, length of the uh, shadow casted by cast by the pole. Length of the shadow cast by the tower is 28. QR is 28. So PQ is equal to cross multiply. Before that, uh, you can simplify. One, seven, four ones are, four sevens are. Six sevens are 42 meter. So, the height of the tower is 42 meter.